Hello, fans, and welcome to the T Triple T uh, platform. On today's episode, we have a very special guest. And as we said last time, we are going to be bringing you content that will help elevate your lives, motivate you. And on today's session, uh, the founder of Triple T will give us an insight into uh, his very close friend and his career into that uh, life insurance space. So without further ado, Mr. T. Fresh, back to you. Well, thank you for having me today. Like you said, it um, in today's episode, you're going to talk about life insurance. And um, like you said, it have a very competent person up here from the industry. Uh, his name is Mr. Fred Bredu. So without wasting time, I'd like Mr. Bredu to take the platform and introduce yourself to my viewers. So Mr. Fredu, so go ahead. Thank you, viewers. My name is, as my friend here mentioned, Fred Bredu. And myself, I've been in the financial services industry for about 18 years now. And I specialize in life insurance, the various types of it. And today we will be discussing the need for life insurance, the types of life insurance, and what benefit it offers to holders of the policy. That's great. So talking about life insurance, I'd like to tell my viewers and the fans, first of all, why do we even need life insurance? Excellent question. So first of all, life insurance is a very useful product for everyone to have, especially if you have dependent children or if you have any person that you care about, like could be parents, even if you are not married yet. Anyone that depends on your income for survival, uh, it's important to protect uh, their flow of income even when you are no longer there. So life insurance serves as a replacement to the person and it performs the duties that the individual will do if he were to be alive. So if that person is gone, life insurance will basically replace the duties of that individual. So example will be, obviously we all have uh, mortgages to pay. If you're no longer there, well, someone still needs to pay for the mortgage for you. Is that correct? All right, that's correct. Like car payment, taking care of our children and a few other things. All right, awesome, excellent. So uh, I'd like you to explain to me the type, different type of life insurance we have, just in case anyone wants to purchase. Could you elaborate the type of insurance they need to have? Excellent question. So for life insurance, we have two main types. One is the permanent, and the other one is the temporary, or we mostly call it term life insurance. So if you talk about life insurance, these are the two main types that we have available in the markets. All right. So what are the difference between term and permanent? What is the difference? Excellent. So by the name, permanent, it means that it remains for as long as you are alive and you pay your monthly premium. It never expires. Now, the term one has a specific time frame that it will elapse or expire, in basic words. If that plan, nothing happens to you, then it will end at the end of that term. So, for example, if we say uh, term 25, it means if nothing happens to the policy holder, by the age of 25, it will elapse or expire and nothing happens. There will be no payout. A permanent one, like I said, remains for as long as you live. There's no specific time frame until that person passes away. And as long as you continue to pay your monthly premium, it will be there to protect you. Oh, wow. That is, that is excellent. Okay. So I would like you to tell the viewers, okay? Uh, for example, myself, I have young kids, okay? So why do I, like, why do I need it? Like, you know, why do I need life insurance? Why? Excellent question. So, as I mentioned, when a person passes away, the expenses do not stop with them. The bills that we pay, the mortgage, property taxes, taking care of our children, it never stops when a person passes away. So, life insurance replaces your duty that you normally perform while you were still alive. Like I mentioned, we still continue to pay for your mortgage, take care of your children's education, pay all your bills and other expenses. So the purpose of life ins insurance is to replace your duties when you are no longer available 
to perform those duties financially. Okay. So basically, what you just said, it replaced the income in case the person, the breadwinner is not in the house, so the life return will take care of that. Absolutely. All right. So let's say if somebody needs life insurance, okay, how do they proceed or how do they go by it? It's actually very simple. Uh, for life insurance purchases, you first need a licensed insurance advisor, and the license is given by the provinces. So myself here, I'm based out, out of Alberta here, and I'm licensed, of course, in my home province. I also have a license in Saskatchewan and Ontario, which means I'm licensed to sell life insurance products in all these three provinces, Alberta here, Saskatchewan, and Ontario. And um, other provinces, I work with a team that have licenses in other provinces as well. So for example, if you need life insurance in Manitoba, I can... I refer you to one of our, my teammates and they can help you out in those other provinces. So Mr. Bredo, I would like you to let the viewers and my fans know, you know, in our community, in the Africans in general, there's a conception of life insurance being a taboo, that when you buy life insurance, that means you're going to die. So can you explain to the viewers about the importance of life insurance and that misconception so people can take it off from their mind? and have uh, purchased the life insurance in case something happened. Got anything that happened anytime to anybody. It doesn't matter if you're young, old, healthy, it can happen to anybody. So explain to the viewers about the importance of life insurance again. Excellent question. So first of all, I understand why some people might think life insurance is a taboo because they believe once I buy it, I'm going to die the <laughs> next day. No. Uh, I'm an African myself, and I totally can relate to those people. Now, that sort of like misconception is due to uh, lack of understanding of what life insurance is and what it does uh, for people. Now, talking about that, I have a real life experience where when I used to be with one of the uh, big five banks, I had a, an experience where a lady came in she had two young children, and uh, she was actually in tears. And I asked her what the issue was, and she told me that, um, unfortunately, her husband had passed away, and that she was trying to retrieve $1,400 from the late husband's bank account. And at that time, they had been kicked out of their homes. Um, the kids I realized that they didn't have any education uh, savings plan in place. And the lady was not working. She was a stay-at-home mother. So she didn't have any source of income. And I checked the profile and I realized that the late husband was about the same age as myself. Two young children. Back in 2014, I had two young children okay. uh, myself. So I could relate to her. And I asked myself, if, God forbid, this were to happen to me, how would my family, how would my wife and children cope in, in my absence? So this really made me think deeply about the need to address uh, the importance of life insurance, especially to our community and those who believe there's no need for life insurance, that indeed anything can happen to anyone at any time. Now the story I'm sharing here, the husband again was around my age and I'm in my early 40s, I'm not an old person. So, uh, unfortunately, it was a tra tragic accident that happened. And, of course, we don't know what's going to happen to us tomorrow. Yes, yes indeed, there are some jobs that are very high risk mm -hmm. um, uh, than others. But that's not to say only those who work in those industries that are high risk need life insurance. Because even right. anybody can pass away tragically. We pray against that. But that could happen to anybody regardless of your your job or the risky nature of, of, of what you do. Uh, there's a few other stories that I could share with you, but just for time's sake, again, I want to drive home that if you get life insurance, it doesn't mean that you are going to die. No, not at all. It's a way to show your love for your family, that you want to protect your family in case you are no longer there okay. to provide for them. So if you have any additional questions or any additional concerns, I would love to talk to you one-on-one -on -one and explain to you 
the need to have life insurance in place. All right, so Mr. Bedu, so how do my viewers and the fans get hold of you in case any of them need life insurance? How do they reach out to you? Excellent. So for myself, you can reach me directly by my phone number, which is 587-224-3485. Now repeat, 587-224-3485. Eight, five, which shows on the bottom of the screen as well. And also, I uh, can direct you to my personal website as well, yep. which is oclairepartners.com, which shows on the screen below. Again, his number is 587 587-224-3485. He's also in partner with Eau Claire, so you can always reach out, okay? So before we let you go, Mr. Bredo, is there any comment 